The forthcoming Finnish elections of April 2011 has some surprises in store. Following the pattern of the latest European elections, a Finnish far-right party is poised to make a spectacular electoral emergence in Finland's political scenery. The party referred is the True Finns party. True Finns was a very small marginal party, split off from a dissolved now rural party. It was a fairly unimportant one that through its first years of its history rarely managed to get above 1% of the votes. That was until the 2000s, when it started making moderate gains. Even so it barely became visible in the political arena, until 2007 which had a strong electoral performance gaining around 5% of the votes. In other societies that would be unimpressive, but in the multi-fragmented landscape of Finland, that gains you a spot in the political lights. Since 2007, True Finns has been breaking one electoral record after another. Today it is expected to gain a vote share similar to the three parties that have been heading the Finland's government through its last 60 years. Those are, the Social Democrats, the Centre Party and the National Coalition Party, which each gains roughly a fifth of the votes. That is more or less a 20-fold increase of True Finns' electoral share, within a time span of 10 years. From less than 1% to close to 20%. The real losers of the next elections will be the left. The three leftist parties, Social Democrats, Left Alliance and Green League combined votes will reduce for the first time in their history below 40%. Their projected results go as low as 35%, 30 percentage units gap with the right-wingers. Projected results. In the polarized political arena where immigration and Euroscepticism have taken the lead in determining the vote preferences, leftist parties seem unable to make themselves relevant, although in Finland and Scandinavia in general, they have the traditional support of media, labor unions and of course the state apparatus. The True Finns party is running on a Eurosceptic and anti-immigration platform. Ironically it has excellent relations with other European parties of same persuasions since it is a member of the pan-European movement named, Europe of Freedom and Democracy. There it is in good company of other far-right movements, like the racist and xenophobic, Italian League of the North, the nationalist and anti-Muslim Danish People's Party, the Freedom Party of Austria of similar beliefs and other similar-minded parties as the Christo-Fascist Party of Greece, the quasi-fascist Slovak National Party and of course the Pearl of British Nationalist Politics, UKIP. Taking in mind that Finland's immigrant population is hardly 3%, of whom less than a third are Muslims, the projected results are even more alarming. If were Finland to follow the Sweden's path and allow excessive migration from Islamic countries, it will be only a matter of time before true Finns become the deal-breaker of Finland's politics, radicalized as Dutch far-right has in the past and quite possibly become a majoritarian movement. That prospect can be only prevented by careful immigration policies that the Finnish population is in agreement with and allowing enough time for Finland's society to digest the new realities before taking the next steps. Policies as these. Thorough and efficient integration systems, a demographic balanced flow of immigrants preventing the creation of big national communities, Favor communal workers over external immigrants which after all is a legal obligation of Finland. Taking cultural compatibility as a criteria, placing quota limits in respect to immigrants from radically different societies, placing language and educational level criteria where necessary, preventing extremist religious organization from taking roots in immigrants' communities while facilitating moderate religious authorities to cover their religious needs preventing para-legal religious judiciary authorities, making extremely difficult for religious schools that breed fundamentalists to be established, preventing external financing of religious authorities from countries with dubious records as Saudi Arabia, closing and reforming legal windows that allow abuses from trafficking networks as the asylum seekers programs, preventing the over-concentration in cultural ghettos. Reforming the social benefits program to prevent state-dependent non-productive immigrants, 
prison population exchange programs for foreign criminals and finally linking the immigration rate with the economic needs of the country.